How are you feeling, Goran? Your doctor has me feeling clearer, but I must ask, why me? I knew a doctor once, good man. Our away team rescued a ship which had hit a mine left over from the war, a Jem'Hadar fighter. They were trying to escape being decommissioned. It was bad. The Ketracel white withdrawal was in full swing. They were weak, barely alive, but at each other's throats nonetheless. I'm not proud to say our standing orders were to put them out of their misery. But my friend, the doctor, he wouldn't allow it. He outsmarted us, locked us out. He worked 30 hours trying to save them. Nearly ended his career to no end. They died anyway. Afterward, when I asked him why, he told me about you. If we are speaking of the same man, the human called Bashir, I regret capturing him, taking advantage of his oath to heal. At the time, I saw no other choice. I was a brutal creature bred by brutal beings. That's not how he remembered you. He described an honorable man doing what you could to find a cure for the biological shackles the founders inflicted on your people. And the most incredible thing is, you found it. You succeeded at replicating the unique mutation that freed you from the genetically engineered addiction, where even the greatest medical minds of the Federation came up empty-handed. At what cost? You witnessed the Shri Hadar uprising, how upon being freed of their chemical bondage by my cursed science, 500 of my brothers went on a wild, vengeful rampage, slaughtering anyone in their path. It was worse than you know. The systemic hunting and torture of Vorta, the overbreeding and abuse of new strains of mindless infant soldiers. Better we had been eradicated when we had outlived our usefulness. You showed Dr. Bashir something different. That not only were your people curable, but they were worthy. More than worthy of a cure. A man who only ever talks about biology told me about you before even mentioning your unique biology. Now that man and his entire species are MIA, and I need to know why. As your son said, maybe your purpose is yet to be discovered. Dr. Thaya? Yes, hello again. Theory time. I love theory time, and oh my, is this on a doozy if I do say so myself? Now, oh yes, seeing as you're not great with surprises, I should tell you, this here is a telepathic transducer. It amplifies my thoughts, letting me show you what I know directly. Hold on to your seat, big guy. Our stage, the USS Athirat, border of green space, where the war never ended. A routine patrol, then an ambush. Bridge to engineering. Lieutenant, where the hell are my shields? Sorry, Commander Torres. We're about to have bigger problems. If I can't stabilize the containment, the core will breach in minutes. 1810. Yesterday. Ten minutes to disappearance. I'm gonna see if I can- <coughs> Lieutenant. Respond! Shit. Paris, you have the bridge. I'm going down there. Alana, it's not safe. That's an order, Tom. Besides, we both know that no one knows these engines like I do. You built them, after all. Just be back in one piece. Of course. Don't forget. Tonight's movie night. And it's your turn to cook. Can't escape that easily. Status report. Commander, oh thank god you're here. Main plasma relay blue, the chief isn't breathing, bioneural stem bolts aren't sealing. Okay, take a breath, Ensign. We'll get through this. I'll need to get inside that relay. But the field temperatures could spike at any minute and and she's already inside the relay. Keep an eye on those temperatures, Ensign. Now if only these breathe bastards will just stop pummeling us for a minute. Tom, I need those evasive maneuvers you're so famous for. Aye, Commander. Initiating fl- 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 Tom! Tom! And so it began. Ensign, it's getting hot in here. I need you to vent a little plasma. I'm on it, Commander. Commander. I just, just, just. Alert. Plasma vent temperatures reaching unsafe levels. Full evacuation recommended. And got it. I've stabilized the core for now, but if she takes one more hit, we're all dead. Hello? Torres to literally anyone. No other personnel aboard. What? How? Computer, Jetson Black Box, initiate emergency protocol, Torres 121D. And, 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 and so 
it ended. However, that was not all Atherat's black box recorded. Commander Torres' buyer signature also vanished, but it took 6.73 seconds longer than any other crew member and was paired with a very faint subspace fluctuation. She was inside a superheated plasma vent, which could account for it. But here's where my theory comes in. Belana Torres was, is, half-human, half-Klingon, the only non-human aboard at the time. It's a big if, but if that altered the time she vanished, then biology is a factor. And from what I've read, no one, I mean no one, grasps the interactions between subspace field dynamics and microbiology better than you. That's an interesting theory, but what's to say the Breen didn't commandeer or simply blow the ship out of the sky once the crew no longer defended it? That's where it gets even weirder. The Breen appeared to have stopped firing at about the same time as humanity blinked out. What are you suggesting? And what is Protocol Torres 121D? That's what we'll find out, I hope. We're en route to Atherat now. Bridge to Captain Tath. The Council has convened. They're expecting you. I see why it sparked your interest, Captain Tath, but... 6.73 6.73 seconds isn't much to go on, and if you catch the Breen's attention, we just don't have the resources to come after you. With all due respect, Minister, we provoked the Breen 10 years ago when we engaged the Dominion. Atherat used to be my ship, my crew, and if there's even a chance its readings can shed light on this... I must agree with Minister Kira. You are but one mining vessel. The Federation is in a precarious position. We cannot afford to provoke further aggression from the Bring until we know more. Ah, but it's not that simple, is it? You know, I've always liked you Andorians. You don't waste nearly as much time hand-wringing and pearl-clutching as your human or Vulcan compatriots. I've been watching your progress, Captain, and I must say, quite the splashy cadre you're putting together. What is the Cardassian saying? It's making me nervous about this proposal of yours. Legate Garrick has that effect on most people, Praetor Donatra. However, I too have heard tell of how you dispatched the upstart warbirds. I must admit that I admire your guile. I would hear your proposal. <clears throat> this council itself is proof that the benefits of leading with trust and curiosity outweigh the risks. In Einar, we have a word for that. Dimiri. My ship's name. I needed a new crew based on that idea. May I present the first of them? Rays, my chief engineer and the only living Aenar who can operate a telepresence navigation unit, which is to say, pilot Atherat remotely using his mind. Speaking of navigators, this is Scout, Romulan x Highest of a score in quantum field theory and subspace engine dynamics. They were denied entry to Starfleet due to security concerns. Dr. Thaya, my chief medical officer and special advisor, Grandgar. If humanity was blinked using some variety of biochemistry or neurology, no two minds in the galaxy are better equipped to determine how and reverse it. And as you all know, Yassan appointed in absentia head federation liaison by the founders. Her choice to undermine the agreement to decommission the surviving Jem'Hadar won her a lifetime in Federation prison. Thanks to Commanders Bashir and Torres, no ship in the fleet had as much technical and biometric data in its files than Athirat. Securing her is our top priority, Breen or no Breen. I've simply gathered the best crew for it. We all know the stakes and will act accordingly, regardless of past allegiances. A logical thought process, that I will grant you. However, as the voice of what remains of the Federation in this council, I must raise a concern that outweighs all else. That concern, Shira Tath, is you. Will you kindly explain to the council why you were not aboard Athirat yesterday at 1820 hours? Why you are no longer a commissioned officer of the United Federation of Planets as of five days ago? Interesting. Excuse me? Oh, just thinking, the proper Starfleet thing, the human thing perhaps, would be to accede to your request, exposit and contextualize my sins, and throw myself at your mercy. An odd request coming from a Vulcan, Admiral O. So how about this? No. 
my strongly encouraged resignation amounts to nothing more than internal Starfleet politics and my refusal to tower a deeply amoral party line. What should count when it comes to this council's decision is my record, which is no secret. Then it appears we may properly deduce the matter to be at a close. Legate Garak's thirst for intrigue and Ambassador Worf's bravado are insufficient to constitute a majority opinion. Therefore, any attempt to approach and retake command of the USS Azerat will be seen as... Wait, you're one to talk about bravado, Admiral. For the record, Tath, you're not the only one to feel concerns about this brave new federation we've been seeing. But I agree this is no time for politics. If you're confident that what you're undertaking isn't simply a suicide mission, then I'm confident. We don't have any ships to spare at the moment, but in spirit, you have the full backing of Bajor and of Deep Space Nine. Cure out. Agreed. I will send what support I can. If it does, after all, prove a suicide mission as it well may, die well. I, too, support the Andorian's bold strategy, if only as a show of... Good faith. We should none of us be naive to the fact that opportunists will seize this tumultuous moment on each of our worlds. If we do not present a united front, then cooperation among our peoples will be the first casualty. Why, a splendid, uh, to appropriate uh, human parlance, and my axe. To think uh, peace in our time required but the disappearance of humanity. Our mutual friend, the good uh, Dr. Bashir, will be... <laughs> ever so unnerved. But a word to the wise, as trust is an opiate in which we all indulge from time to time, and is not without its merits, do not forget that my people once trusted those who created your new allies, and now there are 900 million fewer of us. If you find the good doctor, do kindly give my regards. Au revoir. Well, that wasn't so bad. (laughs) Ha 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 ha!